Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, DJI Mavic 3 released, also a first federal charge for drone shootdown filed, and remote identification drone lawsuit continues. Welcome to the Air News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. DJI revealed their newest top-tier prosumer drone, the Mavic 3. The Mavic 3's three primary strengths come from its enhanced camera system, flight time, sensing performance, and transmission range. DJI seems to be approaching the limits of generational advancements as each new version lacks the dramatic leaps in capability the early models once had. Consistent improvements are the order of the day, now, and the Mavic 3 delivers. Much of the marketing material at launch touts the legendary Hasselblad camera, supplied with a Mavic 3, a custom L2D 20C aerial camera array that packs a telephoto and a wide-angle lens. DJI acquired majority stake in the manufacturer in 2017 and since then has used the famed company's badging in their higher-end products. First time is improved by an estimated 15 minutes from the Mavic 2 to 46 minutes of flight time. Battery capacity increased from 3850 mAh to 5000 while only gaining a scant 38 grams. Improvements to sensors, all net slight performance gains its obstacle avoidance, as well as increased transmission capability. The Mavic 3 can stream live video to the controller at 1080p, up to 60 frames per second over 9 miles away. Coming up after these messages, a drone attack on an Iraqi prime minister. More on that after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. He had luck on his side. Iraqi Prime Minister survives drone attack. Unmanned aircraft have chalked up another unfortunately historic milestone as an attempted drone assassination of Iraq's Prime Minister Mustafa al Karhimi was thwarted in the early morning hours of November 7th of this year. The attack is said to be a major escalation in the dispute with Iran-backed militias over recent parliamentary election results that lost an opposing party dozens of seats. It may be the first credible assassination attempt made with an unmanned aerial system. Embraer announces Energia aircraft family concept. 
Embraer announced its new family of sustainable concept aircraft as it seeks to prepare for industry, world and company goals of decreasing carbon emissions. The move will help set the stage for Embraer's target of achieving net zero carbon emissions by 2050. To support the range of new aircraft, the company has partnered with a number of engineering universities, aeronautical research institutes and other technologies to incorporate and develop new technologies. Advanced Air Mobility to Get Federal Working Group The U.S. government has begun laying the foundation for the advanced air mobility ecosystem, with a bill progressing through a House and Senate with bipartisan support. The proposed Advanced Air Mobility Coordination and Leadership Act would call upon the Transportation Secretary to create an interagency working group to coordinate the development of future AAM policy, infrastructure, and legislation before widespread adoption of eVTOL aircraft begins. Skydio Axon launch integration with Axon Evidence. Drone manufacturer Skydio has completed the initial access steps for public surface UAS operators to integrate Axon's digital evidence management platform, designed to allow for easy, simple transfer of photos and videos into the Axon Evidence program. The partnership simplifies the work of data stewardship and curation when using drones for evaluation or recording. Agencies currently using Evidence and Skydio drones can apply to participate in the Early Access Program, with widespread availability expected in the coming months. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The felon who decided to shoot down a Lake County Sheriff's Office drone received federal charges. What may be the first time charges have been filed in such circumstances, the Lake County Sheriff's Office has brought federal prosecution for an unmanned system shootdown. The accused was able to bring down their small drone with two well-placed shots of .22 caliber long rifle, for which he now faces federal charges for interference with the operation of an aircraft. In July of this year, law enforcement responded to a burglary call at a property in Mount Dora, Florida. In order to surveil the property, they deploy their drone to begin search searching the expanse, only to see it quickly drop to the ground and catch fire. The man inside a nearby building believed the drone had arrived to harass him and fired two rounds from his rifle, immediately downing the small aircraft. Deputies approached him where he readily admitted to the act, believing he had done nothing unlawful as the recipient of drone harassment. Unfortunately, the 29-time felon's opinion was an error as well as his possession of a firearm, quickly landing him into the deputy's care. The accused now faces a rare charge and, in some ways, a landmark crime, being charged for his anti-drone actions under the same statute as a full-size manned aircraft. After the break, remote identification drone lawsuit continues. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. Welcome back. Race Day Quads has filed a brief in its case fighting the newest FAA regulations on remote identification. 
In 2019, the agency proposed and weeks later published a rule requiring future drones and unmanned aerial systems to come equipped with identification broadcasting. Under the new rules, any drone operated without the designated ID reporting would not be airworthy, with the only exception for flights within specially designated airspace, only available for select organizations. Drone pilots sought to halt implementation and broker a deal that would allow their equipment to remain airworthy. On behalf of the drone industry, Race Day Quads filed suit against the FAA to address the shortcomings it sees in the rulemaking process. Firstly, they argue that the rule infringes upon a reasonable expectation of privacy, that small drone operators are subjected to a warrantless search of their personal movements and property. The unlimited duration and scope of tracking data could be construed as a Fourth Amendment violation in some form, as that information has no guarantees of privacy or stewardship. They also allege that the final rule was not a logical outgrowth of the notice of proposed rulemaking, appealing that the process was completely detached from the public comments and open stakeholder consult. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.